do I fall? You lift me up again. I do deserve your love. Oh, loving Father, have mercy, Lord. I ask for your mercy, Lord. Your love runs through me, Father In my life I feel your love Though I stumble and fall In your arms only Everything you show me love God, don't let me fall She said I should allow another woman Bear children for you how can she say that to me? Oh. It's okay, darling. Eh? Everything will be fine. Stop crying. Don't worry about mama, okay? I will talk to her. I pray to God. I fast. I am waiting on him. What else does she want me to do? What else does mama want me to do? I understand. I understand. Okay? Don't allow mama to walk you home. Okay? You know, ever since I lost my late wife, mama has been on my case. You know, she never had children from me. And mama is so determined that I have my own children. She keep on looking at my age and time. But never mind. Everything will be fine. Father Lord, I am sorry long enough on this mountain. Let me have a turn around. I feel speedy one. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? Paula introduced me to a specialist, an experienced gynecologist. Though we've been to several doctors, but I have this strong feeling that things will work out for her this time. Everything will be fine. Oh, no, you know I'm not comfortable either. I'm not comfortable with this situation. I know. More reason why you have to be strong. You need to be strong, okay? Let's just have faith in him. Everything will be fine. Right. I love you. It's okay. It's okay. Let's stop crying. It's okay. Rhoda. Rhoda. I'm here. Rhoda. I'm in the kitchen. Rhoda. I got your message and I left home in a rush. What's wrong? My mother-in-law called again. Again? She said she would not watch her son marry a barren woman. You know, she was not in support of my husband to get married to someone advanced in age. Uh -uh. But her, her son is advanced in age. In fact, he's a lot older than you. That's exactly the reason why she wanted him to marry a young girl. To her, who will still be fertile. And what's that supposed to mean? Look, you are fertile in Jesus' name. Don't let that get to you. You will carry your own children very soon. Why has God not answered my prayers? I have prayed and fasted. Oh, is he punishing me for my sin? Does he love me at all? Of course. You know how long it took me before God brought my husband to me. And now we have waited for good five years without a child. Why? Ruda, the Lord did for Sarah exactly what he promised. He will do for you what he has promised you. He will give you your own child. Hebrews 8, 12 says, when God forgives us, he no longer remembers our sins. God is not punishing you. I have prayed for several people and they have shared their testimonies of giving back to twins, triplets and so on. No. Why has God not answered me? Yeah, 
Thank God my husband is loving, caring, humble, peaceful. I mean, so amazing. But his mother will not let us be. We will continue to pray and believe God. Don't allow the devil make you doubt God. You counsel others. You pray, you preach, you conduct deliverance sessions. That same God you serve is a rewarder. Be strong, brother. What about the new specialist you just found? Our appointment is next to yours. See, it is now you need to exercise your faith more, more than ever before. Let us agree in faith. I trust God that our prayers will prevail in Jesus' name. We rebuke every spirit of discouragement. Let us pray and agree in faith. Our prayers will prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's pray. I spoke with our travel agent last week. Hmm. I told him to book a ticket to Paris. He called back today. Guess what? He has booked it. Hmm. See that? Honey? What is it? Say something now. I heard you. I just can't understand why you will plan a vacation without informing me. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? That's the same thing you did the last time we traveled. We traveled without planning. That's why you got there, you kept shopping till you almost dropped. What is wrong with you? See, I'm tired of this your extravagant life. You've got to stop. You can buy things as if something is wrong with you. You're not thinking. Gori, this is my money. I can do whatever thing I want to do with it. Be very careful. Don't let me tell you the story of your life. Why are you stopping? Go ahead! No, tell me the history of my life. It's not your first time. Go ahead and tell me. In fact, go on the internet and announce it. I don't have your time today. You are too controlling and authoritative. No man. I mean, no man can boss me around. Gori, I won't dignify your rantings with an answer. That's me? Excuse me. Rachel, come back here. Rachel, come back here. Rachel! The children are fine. Gori went out. He's not back yet. All right, thank God. And how is your husband? I hope he's no longer causing you stress. Sometimes he does. Like the other day, I booked that vacation trip and he was so hungry. Mom, he said I should have taken permission from him first. Can you imagine that? Permission? Permission call? Oh. <laughs> Does he know you have been going on vacation for long even before you met? Don't mind him, mom. He wants to control me in every way and even dictate how I spend my money. Should I speak with him? You don't have to worry, mom. We'll sort it out ourselves. Look, my dear, all I care about is your peace and rest of mind in your matrimonial home. Gori is back, mom. I'll call you later. All right. It's okay. I will expect your call. Take care, dear. Love you. Bye. Gori. Gori. Gori, Allah, my Adoni. He let you walk, Gajoni, relo. He walk. You are making life unbearable for my daughter. Eh? Kosi shoro. From today, Gori, Allah, listen to me and hear me out. From today, Rachel becomes your head and you submit to her. Whatever she says is binding on you. Wherever she asks you to go, that's where you will go. Whatever she asks you to do, that's what you will do. 
I will becomes your only option. Benny, a way joke with Jemu Befon Lone. It's him a wee, a robo do romane. Tori yita ba we fogbo, or no robo bo. A shag go. Benny, Otiribe. Gori Olao. Gori Ola. Gori Ola. I should say, Juvailo. The ring can not. Choko si be, ma wembe, e wo. Get up! Nick, Nick, please, don't do this, Nick, please, Nick, please, don't do this, Nick. Enough is enough. Get out of my house. Get the hell out of this house! I don't want to see you again! I don't want to near my children! I don't want to near this house! Please, please don't do this! But where do you want me to go at this time of the night? Please, please! Just go please. anywhere! Go to your family! Go to go, go to the slum where you belong! Go to wherever! I don't... Please. If I come back here, I'm, sh listen, I'm going to kill you, I swear! You are shouting at me! You want, you want my children to wake up! You want them to wake up so that they can hear you cry, Abby? Please don't If do they this. ever wake up, I'll... I will kill you. You irritate me. Gosh. How did please, I even get married please, to you in the first place? Please, think about our children. Your please. juju has stopped. Oh my god, where do I come from here? Nick! There are no guarantees, you know, but people have done it and they have been really successful at it. And oh. It's very possible and it's going to work. Okay then, doctor. I mean, what is the success rate? What is the success percentage of these? Well, the national average for um, women who have done heavy IVF that are below 35 is around 55%, you know. Um, but now that you are more than, you are above 35. We must keep in mind that um, there are other factors involved, such as um, the quality and the quantity of eggs and uh, sperm, you know. But um, I feel there are things that we can manage and it's going to be all right. I'm sorry, Doc. Are you now saying it might not work for me? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I don't want you to get me wrong. What I'm saying is that um, as a specialist, um, um, uh, my duty is to let you know the risks involved so that we won't get our hopes, you know, up and then be disappointed. I know that we can manage whatever it is and we can get good results. Okay, doctor. In that case, I mean, um, our mind is made up. We are ready to do it. I believe God will perfect everything. Yes, um, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. We have to be positive and hopeful. Um, there are tests that we have to run, you know, the spam count, you know, um, Sony HSG, there are, you know, um, a legion of tests for us to do. Um, will you start tomorrow or, or when? Okay, I will bring that tomorrow. We run the test and then we can know where to pick up from. But I want you to keep your hopes up, be hopeful. And uh, be positive. Everything's gonna be alright. Okay, sir. All shall be well. Thank uh, you, Doctor. Alright. I will bring that to you. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. You are very good. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, I will call you later tonight. 
Let's just keep praying, okay? It is well. Ah, Lydia! Huh? Auntie, what's the matter? You mentioned Lydia's name. I just got off the phone with her mother. I can't believe what she, she's just telling me now. What did she say? Nicholas, Lydia's husband, signed up again. What? But why? Hey, apparently they've been having problems for a long time. Hey. She said he humanizes and beats Lydia. Domestic violence, auntie. Hey, unbelievable. That Nicholas that acts like a saint everywhere he goes. Auntie, when he was proposing to Lydia, I was in full support because he looks like the kind of man every woman wants as a husband. You children of nowadays, hmm. you don't care about the precept of the Lord anymore. All of you. Don't follow the leading and the direction of Holy Spirit concerning marriage. All you care about is looks, appearance, money in account, and status. Ah, I feel so bad for Lydia right now. Where is she? She's in her mother's house. I need to give her a call. I, ah, no, I don't think you should do that. I should not call her. I think you need to give her oh. some time. Let's. Start praying for her. Praying? Ah, that useless man called Nicholas. Somebody needs to go and talk to his senses. Hey? I can imagine what the children are going through right now. Ah, this oh, is not God. good at all. Auntie, it's not good though. Ah, this marriage thing, eh? Lydia. The Bible says he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his cry we are healed. We are going to commit Lydia into the hand of the Lord, that the Lord should make her own. The mighty hand of the Lord should rest upon her. Let there be healing, total healing. Let's turn into prayer in the name of Jesus. Lord Father, we pray. We commit Lydia into the hand of the Lord. Father, intervene. Let there be healing. Let there be healing. Let there be divine healing. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you will touch her. 
spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus. Ma Ali Ibaka Upa Saidaka Ali Ibaka Ma In the name of Jesus Lord Jehovah Rapha Let your hand be upon her Let your mighty hand be upon her Let your mighty hand be upon her Touch her brain Touch her life Heal her whole Lord Let there be divine healing In the name of Jesus How the Lord will declare Lord have your way Yes ma I'm trying my best to rest And my husband I, uh, He has been so helpful And supportive you know God is really helping him That is good I always told you that our God is ever faithful. Numbers chapter 23 verse 1 to 9 says that our God is not a man. So he does not lie. He's not human. So he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken? And ever bring it to pass? Has he ever say anything? And ever carry it through? No. He's always faithful. And I know he will show his faithfulness in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. I know, ma, you know. <laughs> but it's, it's just difficult to hold on to that word. <laughs> Especially when the pressure was much. Hmm. Thank God for his mercies. Your testimony is here now. And it will be born very soon. Amen. Amen. <laughs> when are you coming to pay us a visit? You must be around during delivery. Or... Definitely. I will confirm that with Daddy. And I will let you know. Thank you, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Regards to your husband. All right, Ma. I will. All right, bye, Ma.
is a very big task, Lord. Poku is like a mentor to me. How do I tell him that the devil has laid a trap for him and that he has made himself a lawful captive? Poku has money. He's, rich, he's, he's a rich man. Yeah, he has only helped me on so, several occasions. So how do I walk to him and, and tell him all of this? What if he gets angry and choose to not to help me again? <sighs> Lord, Okuri has gone far away from me, from me. And yet, he's getting blessed every day. Social media followers are large. Physically, there's nothing wrong with him. So I think I should wait. So I, should, I think I should give him more time. Because... Think of it. It was after we got married that things began to change. The last time I visited, the way the wife was looking at me was terrible. Once I had been the marriage. You need more time. Out. Help me. Father, I pray for Bokuri. Father, every shackle of life, wealth, or marriage hindering him from serving you. Father, I will take it away in the name of Jesus. As you can see, our situation is getting worse by the day. <laughs> see, at times, she acts normally as if she's in a right state of mind. <laughs> but at times, she buried herself in her thoughts <laughs> and go dumb throughout the day. <laughs> and there are times she has in an erratic manner. She suspects everyone and keeps asking for her children. In fact, a guest visited us recently. She grabbed the guest mm. children, thinking they are her children. Ah, she's getting worse. Sir. Hmm. Have you gotten in touch with her husband? No, Pastor. We try all our best to locate where both of them live. But he has passed out of the house. Mm? Yes. We have no contact of him at all. I also visited some of his family members. They seem to be on his side and cover up for him. They said they haven't heard from him. But I know in my heart that they are aware of his doings. <laughs> what do they stand to be? If they destroy his marriage. Well, what is the next line of action now? Mm. <sighs> Pastor, though it's very, very painful, but we are seeking professional help. Okay? And mm. we will take her to a psychiatric home. For her own interest. I think that is good. God will take control. Amen. How much? 200. 200. Yes. Uh, let, let me pick this one. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Uh, amen, amen. Uh, this one, I am late. I don't want her to beat me. Oh. 
Ah, ah, ah! This is the reason why she will kill me. Hey, how much is paper? 300, 500. 300, 500. Ah, hey, hey, give me 300 naira. 300 naira. Hey, I must prepare the food before she comes back. I, I already have crayfish. Thank you. Ah! Thank you, ma. Ah, you know the size that my wife will like. Hey, what about this one? Under the lap. Put one. Put one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What am I seeing? Ah! Lay ye! Lay ye! You! Goriola! Lay ye! Am I seeing there? Yes! Wow! It's good to see you, Pastor Goriola! How are you? I'm fine, are you? Pastor Goriola! I know by now you must be an assistant pastor in your church. Ah, mm, 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 mm. you know me. I don't like titles. I am okay as Brogori. But don't forget that we said we should keep the fire burning. How is Fabi? Hey, my Rachel is doing fine. She's good, she's fine. In fact, I came to run some errands for her to just prepare some meal for her now. <laughs> That's good though. Thank that you. means you're expecting your fourth baby. Huh? Fourth cake. I am okay with three. Ah, it will be a crowd. I'm fine. Uh, uh, but you know, my Rachel is very delicate. I love her so much with my body, with my soul, and my spirit. That is why I run uh, this errand for her so I can get uh, things ready. I do all forms of house chores. I wash clothes, I iron it, scrub the floor, wash plates. What, what can't I do? There's, I can do everything. You know. But instead of doing all this, why can't you get an house help? Eh? Third party in my house? No, 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 no. I won't tolerate it. I'm okay with me and my Rachel alone. That's all. Third party. Okay, what am I doing with my strength? Is it not to walk? Can't you see how fit I am? I, 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 I'm turning my muscles. Uh, excuse me. If you want to turn your muscles, you go to the gym. Eh? You go to the gym. All this errand running doesn't work now. It's okay eh? for me. I am fine. I am fine with it. Eh? I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't trouble yourself. Can I trust you? Ah, no, no. I came with my car. I came with my car. Let me have your number. Let me have I will give you. See, I must buy something so I can go. Thank you. Eh? Thank you. Let me, I will call you. I will call you. <laughs> How much are you selling this? <laughs> your fate. You are here. Faith has slept and I've laid her on her bed. <laughs> she did not even stay long at your bag before sleeping. You two, you need to go and sleep now. Now that she's sleeping. Bubatiji, hmm? she will need breast milk. She will need breast milk. And you need to nurse her. Oh yeah, 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 go and sleep. Mommy, I want to quickly Finish tidying up this place before going. Then, Thierry, Onimoto, I will finish whatever is left. I will finish it. You two must be tired by now. Eh? You've done rest. You've been working all day. Oh, 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 I will. It is joy of any parent to see their children's children. I'm happy doing all this work. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hello, Father Lille. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, Father Lille. Hmm? How are you? God bless you. Mm -hmm. ah, How did you Welcome, man. We went for a birthday party. All right. Well, how is your husband? He's fine. He's busy. But I'll let him know you are around. Man. Okay. Well, how is everything? No? You're looking so beautiful. Thank you, man. We are actually coming from a birthday party. Yes, ma'am. Um, you know Mrs. Kujore, Mommy Leke. Yeah. Today is her 68th birthday. So we went to celebrate with her. 
we were on our way home when we just felt, let's drop by and say hi. What can I offer you, ma? <laughs> offer? <laughs> Whoa. At the gem. At the yo. In fact, at the party. At je, je, je. It took you that you are the one motto. Don't bother yourself, my dear. <laughs> Actually, Mrs. Kujore tried. Eh? She one really number. spent money. Oh, yes. No, no, no. We enjoyed she ourselves. Tried. Seriously. So we are okay. Fact, let me call my husband. All right. Honey. See that? Yes, mommy. Mommy is here. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. God bless You're welcome. you, Michael. I, I didn't know you were around. Has she offered you anything? We are okay. We are, we are fine. Ah, we are okay. Ah, no, you cannot be okay. Ah, I can quickly turn things around. Hey, is he a mala or paledia? Even if it's rice. Actually, we are coming from a birthday from a party. party. Yes. So we are okay. <sighs> Thank you, mommy. Hey, thank you, ma. Hey, hey, ma. I, I will need to quickly rush back to the kitchen. I need to prepare dinner. I came late from the market sales, Teresa. All right. No problem. <laughs> Actually, right. Gori takes good care of me. It pampers me. <laughs> what else am I living for? Baby. I can see that. <laughs> I'm coming, ma. All right. Okay, ma. Thank you, woman. You're welcome, my dear. That's good. Okay, Richard. Okay. Take, Take care. care of yourself. Grim, what is happening now? I'm seeing some moves inside there. Moves. Eh, Guri Olana, going into the kitchen, going to the market. What's really happening? Fadike, do you want Rachel to go through the same thing I went through in the hands of her father? <sighs> eh, has he started behaving that way? Must I wait until then? You know what? Mm. He has started spending my daughter's money the way he likes. Eh? Mm. Controlling her and ordering her around. Ah. Uh. <sighs> How to be fast? Mm. Uh. So, you mean you have handled him the way you handled Richard's father? Mm. Eh? Already. But wait, wait, wait. Does Rachel know? Hope this won't backfire. Ow. Please. Finye le koje ka soro mi. Em, omo ore watu fe she wedding in December. Je a lo. Wa December she jino. Wa she jino. We still have time. Wo je a lo. Ah, o beri meta. I was told you were looking for me. Hope you're fine. Uh, yes, I'm fine. I've been trying to speak with you since last week, sir, but it's been difficult. I'm sorry. It's been busy time, really. So I hope you are settling in fast. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, good. So, what do you like to speak with me about? Uh, sit, sit, please. Thank you, sir. Now, I am actually led to talk to you, sir. Me? About what? About Christ. Sir, so, so, the, the Lord loves you and He doesn't want you to perish. Um, um, see, Mr. Sam, I'm a believer. I belong to the body of Christ, okay? In fact, my campus days, I was a prayer secretary. And later on, I became the uh, prayer coordinator uh, for the youth department. Okay, so I'm a child of God. I don't want you to waste time preaching, okay? Okay, okay, sir. 
But still, the Lord wants you to move near to him. Because um, he spoke to me expressly about this message. Um, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Um, be vigilant and of sober mind. Because your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for whom to devour. Um, sir, you were once running a good race. Who caught in on you? Please just hold it there. Hold it, Mr. Sam. Hold it. I guess there's something you are yet to learn here. This is work environment, not a church. Okay? You don't preach here. Is that clear? Please. I don't want you to do that with me again. You can leave. All right, sir. Um, but, but, sir, please, um, are you still a believer? Mr. Sam! Please leave. Let he that thinketh he stands take it lest he falls. It's okay, Lydia. <laughs> I can't say I understand how you feel because I'm not in your shoes. But I want you to be hopeful. Things will get better. Besides, you have shown a great improvement in the last time. Thank you so much, Ma. But I can't believe I'm the one in this position. Me. In a psychiatric hospital. No, Lydia. Not every case in this place is permanent or long term. Some mental health issues are just temporary and can be treated. We just have to focus on the needful now. Your head first, then we can take other things. One step at a time. Okay. Thank you, Ma. Um, you will be discharged after the ongoing psychotherapy sessions. Meanwhile, you have to continue your medications and you still need to call for regular counseling. Your progress will determine how long or short the entire process will be. Okay, ma. Your parents have been informed. They should be here to pick you up later in the day. Thank you so much, ma. I really appreciate it. Honey, hmm? do you remember the patient I told you about? The one whose children were taken away from her? Yes. She's been discharged. She oh. started showing signs of recovery. Thank God. But I don't know why I have this strong burden for her. Normally, I don't have attachments or um, connections with my patient. But in her case, I don't know. Is that why you are not eating? Eat your food. Hmm. We'll pray for her. I will, but you know, I just have this great burden towards her. I haven't stopped praying for her all this while. But now, she's been discharged. Okay. Um, we'll continue to pray for her. Lydia, right? Yes. Talking about prayer. You remember I once told you about um, my colleague, uh, Mr. Goriola, that the Lord laid some things on my heart concerning him. Oh, Goriola, you mean the managing director of the new company? Yes, exactly. I tried to speak to him, but he was not interested at all. But I believe and I know that um, there is a burden in my heart for him. Hmm. So um, we need to pray for them. Because I, I know that the devil is trying to abort their mission and truncate their destinies. Hmm. We need to pray for them. Yes, we do. Eat your food. 
We we'll pray to the Lord concerning Brogori and Sister Lydia that the Lord should have mercy on them. Let's plead for mercy for them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord Father, Jesus. We commit Father, Brother Gori and Sister Lydia into your hand. Oh, we pray Lord, that your mercy will be upon oh, them. God. Your <laughs> mercy you will prevail over judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Have, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy on, on them. Ones, oh God. In Jesus' Father, name, we are praying. Them, Lord. We will pray again that they will have a counter with the Lord. A special encounter. In Genesis chapter 32 from verse 22 to 32, Jacob met with the Lord. His name changed and his story changed. Moses met with the Lord. He encountered the Lord in the burning bush. His life changed. His ministry began. We pray that the Lord we meet with these people. They will have special encounter with the Lord. Let us pray in Jesus' name. Father, we commit Brogori and Sister Lydia into your hand. We pray that they will have a special encounter with you. We pray that you will show yourself unto them. We pray that they will feel you. They will feel your presence in their life. Why is Mr. Sam preaching to me? Am I no longer a child of God? Am I no longer in faith? As my light stops shining, So much that Mr. Sam can notice the darkness and preach to me. <sighs> something is wrong with me. Ah, something is wrong with me. I have come too far. Ah, Lord Jesus. Jesus, I am sorry. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus. I'm, I'm back to you, Lord, help me. Oma Goriola, you have left the path I carved for you. My word, which is a lamp unto your feet and a light to your path, is no longer dwelling in you, though I commanded it in Colossians 3.16. You have ears, but you no longer hear. You chose your own desire. Your desire has led you farther away from me into the mouth of the enemy. You have become a slave to the enemy, even though you are born a prince by my blood. You are like Samson who was carried away by Delilah. He died with his enemies. The enemy is hungry for souls and destinies. He's putting out the fire of many. Don't die with the enemy, Goriola. This is not my plan for you. My thought towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil. Thoughts of peace to bring you to an expected end. Jeremiah 29:11. I am rich in mercy and abounding in love. Return to me now. Come back, son. Come back. Lord, I'm sorry. I've relied on my wisdom instead of yours. I back aside your word, listening to the one in my heart. Ah, oh, Lord, I am sorry. 
Oh, my Dios, my Lord Jesus. Lord, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm messy. I'm messy, Lord. Oh, Lord, I'm messy. You're serious, serious. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I commit Mr. Gori into your hand. I pray that you visit him. Amen. In his workplace, you visit him. Amen. In his career, you visit him. Amen. Lord, we pray that areas in his life where he needs you, areas in his life where he wants you, Lord, we pray that you show yourself unto him in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. You help him, O oh Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I commit my brother. I pray. Ah, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 about your medications? I take them as you recommended. Are you sure? So what's your appetite like now? I don't really have appetite but I just force myself to to eat because of the drugs. You have to. Things are actually getting better with you. So, do you sleep at night? Well, very well now. Uh, the evening drugs, they help once in a while to sleep at night. Like how many hours do you sleep? Four, four, five, five hours. I said, do you take siesta? Do you sleep during the day? Understand how so men can say they love someone and the next minute they've changed. Can you imagine they threw me out in the middle of the night? They were expecting me to call. He didn't even care if something happened to me, like I get attacked or anything. Middle of the night, there was no car. I had to trek back to my friend's house. It wasn't easy. He didn't even think about the children. Can you imagine? He even stopped me from taking away. Oh my God! Took my children away from me. Who does that? He's a beast. A huge one. B to his capital letter B. I don't even know what I saw in him before I got married to him. I don't even know what I was thinking. Can you imagine he told me he came to the church just to win my attention, just to gain my attention, just to win my love? Not because he really loves me, just to ruin my life. How could he do that to me? I believe that man is the devil. The devil himself, not just, there's no other devil as well, he's the main devil himself. I can't believe he could do that to me. I was on my own, he even knew this was not going to end up well. He knew he cannot be who he claimed to be. Why did he come to, into my life? He ruined everything. Now look at me, starting from scratch. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, I can't. Ah, oh. oh, I have laid that down. Thank God she finally fell asleep. Maybe she was just hungry. I, it's normal at this stage. I hungry? told you she would soon fall asleep. Ah, I just fed her. Thank you very much for being there. I really appreciate your help. We thank God. He alone deserves our praise. Yeah. Oh. How is bro Michael? He's fine. He went to the mechanic to service the car. We'll be back soon. Okay. Okay. Is Mama asleep? I haven't heard her voice since I came in. Ah, oh, Mama. Hmm. 
she went to the market with uh house help precious oh, to get some things okay, okay thank god for the kind of people that god surrounded me with mm. god is good you know faith is a precious baby that we have all been waiting for mm. she has many mothers mm. and some of us mm. <clears throat> we are assistant mommy <laughs> as a first mommy indeed you know what my mother-in-law said she can't wait for us to have the second baby. Wait, speaking of second mommy, when is she going to come? She's fine. I'm sure I'll be back as soon as my mom leaves oh. for Kore. You know, my mom has to go because of my dad and her business. Mm. I am really happy for you, Ruda. Look at how you are glowing oh. and looking radiant. Hmm. My sister, you know my journey. You have been with me through it all. Sincerely, thank you for being there for me. If not for God's mercies, hmm, I wonder what will have been my lot now. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. And sister, Sincerely, thank mm -hmm. God. Thank God for his mercies. Thank God for everything. We thank him. I decided to choose for God huh. instead of allowing him to choose for me. Huh. I wanted my own will and I want God to agree with my will. By his mercies, he brought Michael into my life when I thought all hope was lost. Hmm. You know, it ended in praise. Yeah. That is the important thing. Hmm. You don't need to go back to the past. I'm not going back. I'm just appreciating him for all he has done. When I think all hope was lost mm. and my biological clock was ticking, hmm. and the pressures was more than what I could handle, hmm. God showed up as a mighty miracle working God. Mm. He used the specialist for us. Hmm. And I now I realize and believe that it is true. That what God cannot do does not exist. Really? Yeah. On the contrary, my dear, what God cannot do exists. What? Yes. God cannot lie. God <laughs> cannot fail. God can never lose. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. He can never fail. At all. Ah. I think our noise has woken faith. Oh, please go and check on that. I better do. I'll be back soon. Faithful faith. Hmm. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Go in your Go in. Nothing disturbs the entire house. Just because you want to pray. The children are doing their homework. I begin with my body every day. Go in. Gorilla. Hey. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No going back. No going back. Ah, Lord Jesus. Ah. Baba, I pray. Lord, my deliverance will be complete. In the name of Jesus. Lord, every power that is standing against my destiny, Lord, let them be broken. Honestly, I am very happy about your dedication to the Lord. I give God the glory. My wife and I have been praying for you. And in fact, you'll be very happy to hear this testimony. Ah, I thank God too, hallelujah. In fact, I'm also looking forward to meeting her. 
I want you to take the issue of your wife as your personal project. She must come to Christ. You were once in captivity, but now you are delivered. So I want you to stand in gap for her. She must be delivered too. Most sincerely, Pastor Sam, some things this sound so strange to me. I, I can't believe I did all those things they said I did. Me, scrubbing the floor, washing plates, even going to the market. That's ridiculous. Me. Hi. Actually, bro, Gori, <laughs> it is not bad to assist one's spouse at home. <sighs> okay. But when it's due to manipulation, then it's dangerous. It is evil and it is, it is very bad. But thank God, the yoke has been broken. I mean, the yoke has been broken. Because you, you cannot fulfill destiny if you have been controlled by a remote, no, somewhere by the enemy. That way, in it all, I will say thank you for standing by me. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. Um, I want us to go into a three-day fasting and prayer program because of Sister Rachel. And I believe that the God answered by fire will answer our prayers. True name. True name. Amen. I believe. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ah, Lord Jesus, I pray for total deliverance of my family. Lord, let me have the out of every form of chain, let them be broken from my home in that name of Jesus. Lord, I decree over you, Rachel, my wife. Let there be total deliverance. She will return to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will enter into her. You will bring her out of her shells in the name of Jesus. Repolikalia, reposotolima lekalia, resotolima lekatelia. There shall be total deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will visit her in your awesomeness. Rachel, when you go far away, Bale, kill on Joel, what of you, Joel, Gono? I am your mother. Oba mi layeni. I'm not denying that, mom. All I'm saying is, Gori no longer listens to me, mom. All he does now, he started going to church, he prays a lot, and he teaches the children too. I know he has flown out of his cage. But, as long as he does not control you, as long as he doesn't have money of his own, as long as he depends on you, that's all what matters. Yes. It is only when he's independent of you that he can wake up tomorrow and say he wants to marry another wife or maltreat you. Ah, Mom, that's my point. You're just getting it now. I'm no longer in control. Yeah? He has refused doing all work and errands I send him. The funniest part of it, I don't even have the boldness to ask him to do any house chores again. Okay, something is definitely wrong somewhere. Yes, the last time I tried it, he sat me down for a good 30 minutes and lectured me about the virtuous woman in the Bible. <laughs> Gori, I clipped his wings, but he has grown new ones. No problem. <laughs> Nobody jokes with me. I mean, nobody. <laughs> I have done it before. I'll do it again. Allah is shelo mati shara yamu. Fucking badly. But I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You spoke to me. 
Father, you warned me. But I choose not to listen. I was carried away with the success, the beauty. Where has the achievement got to me now? Where? Oh God. Even though I know, you know everything, even from the beginning, Lord, I still chose to give no room to you. For you to lead me. I'm sorry. I chose my path. Over that you shall set for me. Over that pattern, that beautiful pattern you set for me. You will see where it has gotten me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said in your word, in Isaiah 118, that come, let's reason together. That even though my sin be as scarlet, they will be as wool. If they be red as crimson, don't be white as no Lord, I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm with you. I'm sorry, Lord. This is all of me. There's nothing left. There's nothing left, Lord. I'm with you. I am sorry. Please have mercy on me. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm mercy on me. <laughs> it will perfect all that concerns you. Just hold on to your faith. Okay? I thank God for showing me mercies. The truth is, sometimes I sink into depression. I wonder how my children look. I, I wonder where they are. You know, it's been several years. He's a covenant keeping God. He has promised you will see your children again. It will surely come to pass. Whenever I am alone, I sink into depression. My mind wanders. I thought I was into a God-made marriage, not knowing I was into a marriage I made myself, a mirage. I, I don't know how he preferred other women and porn stars to me. He would rather watch pornography than watch his home. Whenever I remember how he treated me, I feel like hurting him in, his, in some ways. Lydia, you have to forgive him completely. Do not allow the devil to drag you into his pit again. And as for the dark moments, worship God. Until God opens the way praise him in the whole way okay my love for god is what matters to me right now i won't place the love of man i mean the love of my husband above god and we both know what the way it has got to me right now hmm. god is helping me my fellowship with him gets sweeter every day hallelujah that's all i want to hear now that's fine. Well, we thank God for everything. All will be well. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much, Ma. It's fine. Uh. No. 
No. No. Blood of Jesus. I don't want to die. Please don't take me. No. Blood of Jesus. I rebuke that Please in Jesus' let name. Please let me go. You are going nowhere. No. In the name of Jesus. Rachel. No. Rachel. Please let me go. Rachel. Blood of no. Jesus. Rachel. No. What happened? What happened? Eh? You were screaming. Come, 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 come. What happened? You are mine. You are here with me. Oh my God. I was in a dark place. There were so many cages with people in them. Okay. And the man at the gates told me we are traded with them. And now we have to pay them back. You are who were involved in the trading? My mother. She was with me in the dream. She begged and the man started flogging us. He chained her and pushed her into the cage. I started screaming, crying and begging. It was a very scary place. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my with God. so many creatures. Ah, inside the cage? Some of them were hitting alive by the creatures. Jesus. Some were burned alive. Ah, it's my God. a very horrible place. Oh my God. Ah. Hey, Richard. I, I, I am happy you are not there. And it was just a dream. You see, th this is what I've been talking about. This is what I've been telling you. Yeah. You need Jesus. See, what the devil planned for you is more than that. <laughs> Satan is ready to destroy you if you don't run back to Jesus. Ah, please. I beg you, darling. There is need for you to retrace yourself back to Jesus today. Tomorrow may be too late. Please, Rachel, will you accept Jesus? Yes, <sighs> I want to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, let us pray. Ah, ah. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you. Ah, okay, you will need to say this after me. Ah, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I am sorry for all my sins. I am sorry for all my sins. I know I'm a sinner. Mom, I don't want you to end up like it's happened in my dream. I have seen the light. I have given my life to him. Please, Mom, I want you to do the same. Rachel, in here, me know. You are now in money, swimming in money. You are at rest. You have peace of mind. You think it's ordinary, my dear? It is not. Emi rali ayegbe fun eni. Oh, mo pon rali ayegbe ni. Hey. Jesus has paid the ultimate price. Ben Wilson, then sorrow me. Then sorrow me, Jack Your husband is at your beck and call. When you ask him to sit, he sits. When you ask him to stand, he stands. And now you can talk to me the way you like. No. Jesus has paid the ultimate price. No one asks you to buy anything on my behalf. I do not pray that any woman will suffer what I suffered in the hand of your father. I made up my mind that you, my daughter, will not suffer the same in the hand of any man. I endured with your father. I suffered with him. But after he was comfortable, he maltreated me, beat me up, and damaged my womb. And then, he went away with my sweat. He eloped with another woman. And so, I got ready to protect you. That was in the past, Mom. Corey is not my father. But he's still a man. Rachel, a man will always be a man. What do you know? When your father came back, 
I got ready for him even before he came back. I made him my footstool. Exactly what I did for him. Making Gori your footstool. Mom, my husband is not and cannot be my footstool. God has delivered us. He has saved us and set us free. Mom, please give your life to Christ. He's ready. He loves you, Mom. He does not want you to perish. Mom, please. Rachel, I think you should go home now. Your husband will be waiting for you to make his dinner since he's no longer your houseboy. Mom. Rachel, out. Mom. Rachel, get out of my house now. Mom. Rachel, leave. Mom. Leave and go and meet your man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just love you. Mom. Mom. So ladies, sisters, singles, please choose wisely. And how to choose wisely is to allow God do the choosing. Because he loves you so much than any man can ever love you. All you need to do is ask, ask God. He still speaks. He will answer. Don't allow emotions, feelings, excitement be cloud your judgment. Your future and destiny depends on the right decision. How far you will go in life depends on this one decision. So you cannot afford to miss it. Many mighty men have fallen in this area. Many men and women called to be great. They are meant to be greater than they are now. But because of the wrong decision, they've become less or nothing. Many men and women were called to be great, were called for their destiny to be very great. But the plans of God did not come to pass in their lives because of the wrong decision they made. When God shows you the right direction, please follow it. Don't go your own way. Don't do your own will because there are winds and storms that comes with following your own will. Please stay with God. Stay with Him. And whether you go right or left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Bola, how are you? Hi, ma. Two young adults are here to see you, ma. Two young adults? Yes. What for? They didn't see. Okay, let them in. Good, good, good day, ma. Good day. How are you? Fine. Please have your seat. I, I don't think I've ever had um, two young adults visit me before. This will be the first time. So how can I help you? My name is Jane. She's my sister. Her name is Julie. Jane. Julie. How old are you? I'm 15 and he's 17 years old.
What's your last name? Yemi Dali. Yemi Dali. <laughs> That's not a common last name. What's your father's first name? His name is Nicholas Olufemi Yemi Dali. Oh my God. Nicholas Olufemi Yemi Dali. James Julie. James Julie. James Julie. Oh my God, my babies. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Juju, my baby. Oh my God, James. Oh my God. Oh, my babies. How are you? How are you? No, no, no. Come, 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 come. My babies. Oh my God. How are you? Oh, look at you. You don't have beards. Oh my goodness, my baby. <laughs> Even taller than me. Oh my God. So where have you been? Where have you been? Your father's people will not allow me to see you. They don't even want me to know where you were. We have been trying to locate you too. It's a long story because since that past, things have been hard. Your dad is dead? Yes. Hmm. He died from a liver disease. They said it was due to excessive alcohol. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, my babies. But I hope he found Christ before he died. We, we have been watching you on YouTube lately. That was how we were able to locate you and come here. And James and I were giving our life to Christ. Oh, praise and God, thank you, Jesus. I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you both. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I can imagine all you went through. Ah, oh, God, I praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My baby, so back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your love runs through me, Father. In my life, I feel your love. Though I stumble and fall in your arms only Everything you show me love God don't let me fall Though I stumble and fall Though I stumble and fall Though I fall Though I fall You lift me up again Strength, oh Father, carry me with your love. Though I stumble and fall in your arms, only everything you show.